What's going on guys? Chris Bumstead here, back with Muscle and Strength for a full day of eating part two. I'm starting with breakfast right now. I'm gonna take you guys through everything I ate in a day. All right, so first step I do, I already kind of got a head start on this because I'm hungry and I just, I'm ready to eat. But I cut up potatoes, kind of diced into little squares like this. I try and get them all like this, just like you'd get at a restaurant, but it's just plain raw potato. And so I do 600 grams raw weight of potato, cut it up like that. I put a little bit of olive oil and then I throw it in the air fryer and they honestly come out like crispy, just like you would get at like a classic Sunday brunch spot. So I throw it in here at like 400 degrees for like 20 minutes. Those get crispy. And then I throw the eggs on the frying pan. I really measure everything I eat. Egg whites, not so much because it's like, it's just protein. There's like really not any calories in it. It's not a huge deal. And I know approximately the volume of what I'm trying to get. So I just kind of fill the cup up, but everything else throughout the day, I still weigh it. And that's not so much so I'm not eating too much or too little, but just so I know when I'm being consistent. So if I start to put on a little bit too much body fat than I want in my off season, I can know exactly what I'm eating and to reduce it rather than if numbers are kind of random and it's all in my head and I pull too much, pull too little, then I don't really know the variables I'm changing. So I, the more consistent everything is and you understand all your variables, it's much easier to manipulate them and kind of target them specifically towards your goals. Typically I eat every meal like cook fresh. Just so I have the convenience of working from home. So luckily, obviously I want my meals to taste as good as possible. And when I'm eating so much, they kind of need to taste good or else I'm probably not gonna eat it. And I'll typically pre-cook like a big batch of rice and stuff, but like typically every meal is like fried up or potatoes are cooked on the spot or something like that. This is the secret finisher to breakfast, always. Everything but the bagel seasoning. This is from Trader Joe's. You can get it anywhere. I get my girlfriend to send me from the States because this is just the best one. But you add this to your eggs, your potatoes, and it, it just tastes amazing. Like a little garlic, sesame seeds, and sea salt, and it's just perfect. So you get your seasoning imported. Imported. Wow. <laughs> so I let these cook just till they're like crispy, making a nice little jingle. And I toss them in the bowl. And the eggs go right on top. And the final most necessary touch to breakfast is the sugar-free ketchup because you can't live without sugar-free ketchup. All right, final product for meal number one is 600 grams raw weight of potato thrown in the air fryer. I got three whole eggs scrambled with 230 grams of egg whites sprinkled with a little bit of seasoning, and on top, some ketchup. All right, so this is meal number two. Sticking to the basics here, super simple. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal. It's gonna be some chicken, some spinach, and some rice. I like making this on the frying pan because everything just tastes better on the frying pan. And spinach is definitely a lot better when you kind of fry it up, put a little sauce on it or something. Really to simplify my off-season like eating, I get bulk meat from Trifecta. So a lot of people do like meal preps and stuff but I still like making my own meals, but like actually having enough chicken or stuff on hand is difficult sometimes. So I, I get like a bulk meat sent to me and it's not something where you have to have every single meal like this or everything, cause it obviously does get a little expensive, but even like a couple packs of meat a week, just in case you're like running out for late for work or you're coming home late and you just need like a quick meal just to throw together. It's definitely convenient and has saved me a lot of time. Half of the stuff I eat now, I get 
pushed onto by my girlfriend. But Courtney suggested this to me because I used to eat a lot of soy sauce and I'm not a huge fan of having like a lot of soy in your diet. It's just not really for me. And it's also a lot less sodium in it, which doesn't matter in my off season or anything. But when I'm in prep and I'm like, again, like my like kidney issues, we try to really mitigate it a lot. So I try not to have sauces with a crazy amount of sodium in it. This has a lot less in it. And it's like a similar vibe to soy sauce, like stir fry your stuff up and everything. And honestly, personally, I like it a lot better. It's a little bit sweeter. But it's just coconut aminos, so you can find them kind of, usually in like an organic section. They're a little bit pricey, but they're delicious and they're worth it. So with a lot of my meals now, I always add on like a little bit of fats. So the form of an oil or something like that, like my potato, I cover it in a lot of oil, olive oil, but some of it falls off, so it ends up being a moderate amount. And on chicken rice meals, my favorite thing to put on it is macadamia nut oil. This is very difficult to find in Canada. I actually had this imported from the States as well. But if you can't find macadamia nut oil, stuff like, like a extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil definitely does the same kind of trick. Just really dense calories that you sprinkle on top of your meal and just helps you get in a little more food and throughout the day. All right, so this is meal number two. Gonna end up being pre-workout. We're heading to the gym after this. It's 180 grams of chicken breast, 280 grams of white rice, some spinach sprinkled on there, some coconut aminos, and then probably like about a tablespoon of macadamia nut oil on top for a little extra calories. Workout. I'm gonna make a meal, but I was really hungry when we came back, so we're gonna eat a little banana. But the real meal is going to be an entire pack of sweet potatoes. It says 16 ounces, but I'm gonna weigh it out because I think that is including the package and some chicken breast with that. So we're gonna eat this banana because I'm really hungry right now, and then I'll show you guys this weighed out. Four hundred and twenty-eight grams of mashed sweet potato, which ends up being fifteen ounces. And then I'm gonna put in one hundred and eighty grams of shredded chicken. Then we're gonna cover it up in ketchup. And this time we use a microwave because I'm hungry and I want to eat now. A little squirt and a little drizzle. Oh yeah, that's professional ketchup right there. All right, so this is meal number four going down right now. I got some stir fry veggies, just a vegetable medley. Got 180 grams of chicken breast and 280 grams of white rice. And on top of that, I threw some coconut aminos again because it tastes so good to fry that up. And something I kind of like adding into these meals when they get a little boring. I go through different like toppings, I guess you could say, but hummus has been like a kick I've been on lately. Any hummus with like tahini in it is my favorite. I just kind of slab some on there, you get a few bites of it and it helps it go down. number five right now. I got 175 grams of meat right here I'm gonna eat. In the air fryer, I got 612 grams of sweet potato, raw weight cooking up in there. And then I am going to add an avocado on top and kind of cut it up into pieces, put it together and eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
doing a little crossbreeding here with the, the meat. I only had like 114 grams of turkey left and I just polished that off. So we added some chicken. Your food game is on point, man. It takes, it takes skill to be a bodybuilder, you know? I think it's easy, but you gotta be, you gotta be a master chef. You gotta be a master sleeper, master calm yourself, master trainer. I got real sick of just like microwaving every single meal and having leftover rice all the time. But just putting like a little bit of effort into like making your food goes a long way. It makes you kind of dread the off season a little bit less. Cause like everyone always says eating is like the hardest part. So if you can make it fun, you can make it taste good. It makes it a lot easier. So final product, meal number five is 600 grams of raw weight sweet potato. Throw it in the air fryer. I got 175 grams of a mix of turkey and chicken. And then I have a full avocado chopped up, put on top. It's all cut into little bits, mashed together. And the combo of like sweet potato with a little sweet with the chicken and then like the nice texture of avocado is just like a really good kind of mixture meal. It's not something you would think to put together, but it's super good. You got some fats, protein, carbs, high content of it all, high calorically dense meal and we're good to go. All right, so we're on to meal number six and the final meal of the day. It consists of 200 grams of Atlantic salmon and 230 grams of white rice. Because I'm not eating like around six meals a day right now, when I have five meals, I don't eat like, I eat a lot of carbs in each of them. When I have six, the last meal can have a little bit less, but I try and focus on having a higher fat protein at, for my last meal of the day. And it's something I kind of got into a habit from prep. I was always either having steak or salmon at the end of the day and it just, kind of felt right, kind of having like a, something to sustain you more throughout the night when you're fasting before breakfast. So that's what this meal is, a little higher fat in the protein, a little less carb, and after this, we're heading to bed. All right guys, so that's my full day of eating, everything I eat in a day right now. Hope you guys liked this video and remember to subscribe below.